Everything has gone crazy. We just accused Queen Amara <laughs> of murdering Inga. And using channeling to get there and to get out. To which she responded by by sending out waves of malice <laughs> and activating her conqueror's hockey to kill us all. It seemed to work on the judge, unfortunately. <laughs> What? Speaking of murderous hockey, we're the bittersweet gamers. I mean, I guess I'm the opinionator. And I'm Wee Squared, and I don't think that worked as well as it did in my head. So I'm still not sure that I buy that Amara's the killer, but I am sure that there's a whole lot in this trial that we still don't know. Though it does, you know, when you when you channel somebody, you don't have control over who you're channeling. Right, they're the ones in control. Or they wouldn't have been, I mean, or they wouldn't be channeled. She would have had to have gotten somebody who would cooperate or something. That's why it does sort of seem like Dirk is the only really viable choice. Aren't you a little fuzzy when you first come in? I think you're right. And wasn't he a little fuzzy when he was first found? That's correct. And who else is just going to walk on out? Only Dirk. Inga's not going to walk on out. I still think they missed an opportunity to have Inga see Inga's body, though I guess Inga may have seen Inga's body. Yeah, it just depends on when the channeling was released, I suppose. Hey, wait. Yeah. Wait! What? Amara couldn't have channeled Inga and gone in and killed him. How could Inga, how could Amara have killed Inga? Which is, by the way, we haven't really been thinking that Amara was the killer. But if Amara, how did Amara get to the tomb? By channeling Inga. So yeah. how did Amara kill Inga? Inga was already dead or she couldn't have channeled him. No, 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 no. Uh, the whole thing was to channel Inga so that someone could see Inga at 2.30 to make, it, make everyone think that the murder took place at 3. That was the whole point of channeling Inga. Was so he would be That's seen that running was, around. That was 2.30, but we just don't have any proof. That it was Amara that actually killed him. However, that she channeled Inga and ran in there, that's a different story. Yeah, but she couldn't have channeled Dirk and killed him because Dirk was still with us at the time. Like the Dirk that Inga saw as he was dying. Because, right. Because the, we suspect she may have channeled Dirk to get out. Like Dirk died because of his illness or something. There's, well, there's no other person she could have channeled to get out with. Right. But even if she did that, then, then that would mean that Dirk's body is in the sarcophagus. That's the only place for it to be. Yeah. So Because there's going to be some dang body in that sarcophagus. <laughs> and Apollo is going to be like, I knew there was something in the sarcophagus! And that means Dirk's body is the one that's got three bullets in it. And that is why he died. It wasn't that he fell over dead from tuberculosis or something. It's that Inga shot him with those missing three bullets. And that's why his clothes were so bloody. And his clothes were right there, so it's a naked Dirk. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be like a naked Dirk in the sarcophagus. And, you know, we need to really make a habit of these. At the beginning of the episode, we, like, work through what we think. Anyway, I think we've gotten a lot. Yeah, I think you're right. Now we, we just can't, gotta... We can't push our luck anymore. We've gotten as much as we currently can. We've been remarkably successful this time around. Now we just have to get where we're going. I still don't necessarily believe that Amara is the killer, but if it's not her, then who? Yeah. Indeed. Now, are you listening? I am indeed ready to hear why you couldn't have vanished by channeling. It would not have been possible to simply vanish by means of spirit channeling. After all, it would require a deceased person to channel. Four bullets, we only know where one is. However, there was only one murder victim in the tomb. And that was Minister Inga. The only others there right after his murder were Dirk and Miss Faye. Uh, well, I... Had I channeled Inga, as you allege? Well, the outcome would have been quite odd, to say the least. I know, I bet that still happened, though. 
For there, beside the dead minister, a living, breathing one would have appeared. Even if I had been in the tomb, there was no one to channel except the deceased minister. So you see, I could not have vanished by means of spirit channeling. Well, I mean, we kind of know what's going on, but I haven't thought that far. That, that's true, but I can't rule it out yet. Think, what, what is there that could make this possible? Well, what if there was another victim? Someone we haven't identified yet? How absurd. If you channeled someone other than Minister Inga, you could have used their identity and clothes to disappear from the tomb. Meaning it has to be a soldier who's going to cooperate. Or, or Dirk. Or Maya or Dirk. Well, it's not Maya because she's right there. Another victim? Queen Amara. Please add your last statement to your testimony. This could explain everything. Wasn't there some sign of another victim there in the tomb? The blood. That's exactly it. And yet... Why do I sense I'm not going to like what I'm about to find out? I suppose this is what was meant when we were told about it. Minister Ingo was the sole victim. There was no other spirit to channel until he was dead. Hold it! What if there was another victim besides Minister Inga? I'll just restate my position, how about that? What on earth could you mean? The only body found in the tomb was the minister's. Y yeah but, uh... Amara's counter-arguments are too spot-on for us to rebut. Actually, there is one possibility. What's the matter, Apollo? That's one heck of a face you're making. Oh, oh no, it's nothing, really. And yet, that means... He... My husband Dirk is the killer, but he has fled from the sacred hall. Has he really? After all, if you're... Kind of. If you're channeling Dirk, likely you both know what's going on. Whether she killed Inga or not, it's like she showed up there, found... Or maybe she did go in with the intent to... Whether she did or didn't, she came in there and found her husband dying. Maybe he had a chance, or maybe not, to reconcile. And... I hope so. Because otherwise they can't exactly communicate. Or maybe, maybe the, their communication is that channeling. That she does channel him, you know? And, that, and yeah. lets him do the things that he needs to do in the trial. I see. That, that's kind of sweet. Like, lets him, lets him be the defendant. Lets him get his name cleared. Lets him deal with his sons. Yeah, I like to th I like to think that's what's going on. That that would be pretty poignant, if nothing else. There must be a reason why he had to make his escape today, whatever that could be. A reason? Ah, perhaps. Perhaps what? Perhaps to conceal himself and lie in wait for another chance to claim my life. Oi! What's this? I feel like you've said that before. Objection! <sighs> like Apollo said, not really gonna like what he's gotta find, but... Eh, not like he didn't get the talk. I can't believe I'm presenting this. But it proves that there was another victim. It sure was weird how we saw this. and Couldn't really explain it. The only ones there at the scene of the crime were... No. It 
can't be. Would the defense care to share something with us? Queen Amara, you knew, didn't you? Whatever are you talking about? If you won't tell this court, then I will. Well, don't keep us waiting! This case includes a second victim. We can ignore the part about needing to try the previous, or try for the previous second victim, Queen Amara, because Queen Amara's right here, so I don't think I need to explain why she wasn't killed by someone. <laughs> Are you sure? But I might need the explanation myself. But there's still the legitimate second victim. One of the two people found alive in the tomb after the minister's murder was actually already dead. But a second victim, Apollo? Mr. Wright, I know this is hard for you, but Maya, Miss Faye, she's... <laughs> now, 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 hold on, Apollo. I think maybe the I'm right died. here, and I didn't kill anybody! Queen Amara, after you channeled Minister Inga and moved to the tomb, you vanished from the scene of the crime by channeling the other victim. That explains why no one found you after the murder was discovered. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, you putrid pepper! Of all the half-witted buffoonery to come tumbling from your lips. But suppose I indulge you and play along with your little delusion. Tell me, Mr. Justice, who was the other victim? Miss Fay is right here. Man. How miserable. There's... There's no way this can be true. But... No, I... I can't stop now. If this is the truth, it's the only way forward to solving this case. I have to face it. And he has to face it too. The other victim who Queen Amara channeled was... Listen, son, even if you manage to prove me innocent tomorrow, I... I don't have long to live. There is no escaping death now that it has its sights set on me. Dirt knew everything. But he couldn't bring himself to tell me. I have one more big secret. I'm afraid I can't tell you what it is. I'd be betraying a certain someone if I did. Hmm. I mean, we knew what he was talking about, but... He couldn't accuse the love of his life. The sad truth is... The other victim channeled by Amaro was... Take that! What? You can't. <laughs> That's not possible! The defendant, Dirk Sadmati, is the one Queen Amara channeled. He's the other victim. Th this is insanity. Bokuka! Apollo! What are you? Do you realize what you're proposing? Objection. I demand an explanation, Mr. Justice. I, I don't know when or why Dirk was murdered. But the facts and evidence speak for themselves. And this... This is where they've led me. I see. After Inga's murder, Dirk and Maya were the only ones in the tomb. It wasn't me! But if one of them was actually dead and being channeled by Amara... But it can't be. Can it? Why not, Mr. Wright? 
Dirk's blood stain at the scene of the crime was the quencher for me. We've been wondering about that the whole time. It's too much blood to just be like, oh, tuberculosis, bleh, and yeah. vomit everywhere. He wasn't even injured, so how could he have possibly bled that much? Four bullets! Only found one! The only logical explanation is... Dirk had also been murdered! Poor Nayuda, too. Nayuda's just been in the dark about everything! That's enough! Your explanation cannot be the truth! And you would not dare to claim to have proof to support your assertion! Well... Not in the court record, I guess, but we do! Nayuda! I wish it weren't true! I wish with all my heart that I'm wrong! But as much as I don't want to believe it, Yes, I can prove it. Dirk's killer must have hidden his body. It would have to be somewhere nobody would ever look. And there's only one such place. And we've been told over and over that it's wrong, but... Yeah. Y you truly have proof? The fastest way would be to actually have someone go check the tomb. Go check the tomb? But why? Because I believe Dirk's killer in his body here. Oh, how fortuitous. Not the first time it's been on the item that we needed to select. You, you would suggest... Queen Amara's sarcophagus. The only place in the tomb that no one would dare to look. Plus, a killer would soon become trapped by hiding in there. But a body? Well, that's a horse of a different color. That's what it's for, really. What do you mean? That's what a sarcophagus is for. To put a dead body in. Oh, that's what you mean, yeah. Which means... I believe we must search the sarcophagus at once. Your Eminence, being that Queen Amara yet lives, I trust we may now open it? I guess we will find despair and sadness. And I guess we will find Amara's corporeality. Yeah. But only those things. If we must... Your Majesty, I believe Detective Sky is still there at the tomb. Getting snacku dust everywhere. Only if she's stressed out. Otherwise, she doesn't, you know, come to think about it. <laughs> I've seen her eat many a snacku. Hmm. Let us contact her at once and have her conduct a full investigation into the matter. Why, why so quiet? Your mercifulness. Now then, Detective Sky, your report, if you please. I'll start with my findings. Please, please, please let me be wrong about this. We'll take the hit. I just want things to be as they were. <laughs> A search of the sarcophagus revealed a body that appears to be several days old. A b body? D Detective Sky? Tell me it wasn't Dirk. Tell me my whole theory was completely off base. It's just one of those crazy BSG jump to conclusions moments, right? I have a photo of the body, and I have positively identified it as... There's the other half of the pendant. Dirk Sad Mahdi. And his clothes. Those clothes... Dirk! No! Why? 
Why? Why did this have to happen? Like this? Damn it, Dirk! Answer me! Why now? Uh, how? How can this be? <laughs> Why are you laughing? The traitorous snake, very head of the insurgency, murdered? Oh, what a joyous day! Those fools shouting for change and revolution will finally return to whatever rocks they crawled out from under. And isn't this wonderful news for the two of you as well? There is no need to execute Dirk. He's already dead. Doesn't that mean that the two of you are fine? Does it? Maybe it does and maybe it doesn't. I think it just depends on how she wants to interpret the law. On, on how she wants to interpret it. <laughs> after after Amara's silence, her clear complicity in helping isn't the right word when it comes to dirt, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then this reaction, like ha 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 ha. What conclusion do you want us to draw from this? Uh, poor Apollo. Who? What? Was I even fighting for? Apollo. What am I supposed to do now? A lawyer. Should never look the way you do right now. Huh. A dragon never yields! But what is that supposed to mean now? Even when wounded, a dragon bites down hard and never lets go till its dying breath. It glares, it roars, and it latches its jaws firmly onto its prey till the bitter end. That's what lawyers do to get the truth. But, Dirk, what if the truth is that you're... Is that you're... Apollo, in court tomorrow, you may find yourself faced with the truth that is difficult to accept. So that's what he meant. But I know you, and I know you can handle the truth, no matter what it turns out to be. I know that because I believe in you. You're my son, after all. There's no way that Amara would would have let him be in, be in her body this whole time unless she was trying to let him settle things. Isn't that what a priestess does? Help the dead settle? Or pass on? Maybe. You... You believed in me that much, Dirk? <sighs> Dirk. I think I finally understand. I can't yield. 
Not now. Not ever. Not after Dirk believed in me, despite knowing what was about to happen. Besides, Dirk left me with two things I must do. Are you all right, Apollo? Sorry about that, Mr. Wright. But I'm... I'm fine now! Apollo. Detective Sky. Y yes How sure are you that the body's been there for a few days? I'm positive. No autopsy's been performed yet, but I'd say it's been at least three days. Fortunately, the low temperature inside the sarcophagus kept it from decaying. Oh, and the chest area bored just like Damon's been shrieking about like a banshee for the past three months. Three gunshot wounds from a small caliber weapon. Who's Damon? I believe they're the cause of death. Don't worry about that. At least three days, huh? That means Dirk was already dead by the time he came to visit me back in the States. Oh my god! Jeez, thinking about the way that time passes, it's just insane. Ugh. Was Nana gone for that long? How would Rafa not have noticed that Nana was gone that long? I don't know. Who else could it have been that was doing the channeling? It would have had... Well, sure, sure as heck couldn't have been Garan. You, the queen would be more noticeable having vanished for three days. I I feel like the answer to this is relatively self-evident, but do you suppose we really ought to ask Maya if it was her just to be on the safe side? Wouldn't that actually completely change the way that we take Inga as well? But if Dirk was killed several days ago by three three gunshot wounds. If it came from that gun that Inga's carrying, okay, that makes sense, and that's what we think, right? Yeah. But... That seems strange, too. But then how was it that Inga did that then? And then why was he ready for Dirk to come back? Why wouldn't he have reloaded the gun? Did we see where Nana... We never saw Nana since coming back. Because Dirk was with everybody before the tomb. We didn't see Nana, right? Did we ever lose track of Dirk? Because Dirk would have had to turn back into Nana to go into Mr. Inga's house, then turn into Inga to rush to the tomb. Even then, we're moving it. I, I There's mean... still something we're not grasping, I think. Well, whatever it means, I think we've gone about as far as we can at the moment. I really want to make sure it wasn't Maya. She was hiding something. You're right. It had to have been Maya. And if Inga because killed... Because then he could have gone inside the tomb, turned back into Maya. There's, there's a bunch of spare clothes lying around. If Inga killed Dirt, though, why would he allow his hostage... It, it's like, it's entirely possible that literally everything we knew about Inga was wrong, or we're completely barking up the wrong tree, and it's not Maya, and it is just Amara, but how could she be gone for so long and everything... Yeah! Well, anyway, that's... Oh, hard to wrap my brain around. <laughs> I'm very glad, because it seemed like we were on top of every plot twist. Th then who was channeling him? I think it would have to be someone who could get into and stay in the U.S. without arousing suspicion. And if you start shrieking at me like you have been in the past, Miss Faye... Yet also had a solid cover story, so they wouldn't be seen as missing? I believe it really was Maya Fey. There's only so many people it could be. Maya? Oh, I see. And then, you know, when, when she was asked about Inga, she said that she didn't like him after what happened in the last trial, and that makes perfect sense. <laughs> but... Rather than just giving her a TV and some burgers, he really went out of his way for her. And this is after murdering Dirk. And if he didn't murder Dirk, then who did? Oh, my brain! And if Garan murdered Dirk, like, what does that have to do with Inga? I have no idea what's going on anymore! 
anymore. That was as far as we could go. She was being held hostage at the time. So it seemed only natural that she wasn't around. You know what we need to do? We have freaking Amara and Maya right here. Why don't we just get Dirk and Inga, uh, and, Inga and ask them? Why don't we ask them what the heck is going on? Who even cares who the victims are anymore? It's freaking Kurayin and every spirit channeler on this whole stinking continent is in this room. Let's just put them to work. That's what they do for diplomacy. <laughs> Now, to be fair, Pearl's not here. On this continent! Fair point. We're in Asia! <laughs> There's three! <laughs> Garanamara and Maya, and they're all here! <laughs> right. And do you remember that one thing she was hiding, even though she was telling the truth about everything else earlier? Wow, you really did protest too much, Miss Faye. <laughs> so please, just tell me, what exactly are you hiding? And why do you keep hiding stuff from us? Sorry, but I promised Dirk I wouldn't say. You made a promise to Dirk? Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty big one. I guess you could communicate with the person you're channeling by writing notes. Yeah, yeah. That is, this is like almost some, like, this a is, spiritual version of, like, Bill and Ted. This is world-changing garbage. Like, <laughs> you, you, th this power is too great. It, that is interesting, like, the spiritual version of Bill and Ted. Spirit channeling OP, please nerf. Dirk didn't want his own death to be known. The other members of the Defiant Dragons would lose all hope if they found out. And that would snuff out the flames of revolution for good, and they're all outside and not in here, right? Ah, uh, Dots probably knew. Yeah, I'm sure Dots did know. Oh god, Dots is the leader of the Defiant Dragons. I'm sure, I'm sure believe it, don't worry. Miss Faye, Dirt told you to keep quiet about this, didn't he? <laughs> oh, why? Why are right anything agency lawyers so good at pulling the truth out of me every time I want to hide it? I guess it's no use hiding it anymore. Yes, I promise not to tell. Why do you still feel compelled to hide stuff from them? <laughs> Ladders and burgers! Dirk made me promise before he died. So I was right then. Um, Apollo. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, what, God, what now? It's about, you know, Dirk's final moments. I'm listening, Miss Faye. What happened in his final moments? And poor Nayuda. You know, everything that Dirk was doing, he was doing for Nayuda, too. But he gets to have this moment with Apollo. And all and people connected to Apollo. And it's like, in a lot of ways, it's like Nayuda is still outside, but it's just as bad for him, you know? It's just something that you feel really sad about. It was soon after I was kidnapped. Dirk paid me a visit in that tomb where I was being held captive. I'd say it was a few days before Minister Inga's murder. Hey, young lady, time to get you up and out of here. So this is even before the trip to the to the United Japan States. Oh, it's the bad guy from the Plume Punisher. You're real? Are you Come here on. to kill me? It's that revolutionary guy. I'm here to rescue you. You are? Why? I figured things were a little too quiet with that stamp-sucking scumbag. So I started digging around. That's where I found out you'd been abducted. I I'm not a duck. Abducted. But why would a rebel help me? Let's go before it's too late. Maybe some sort of sense of responsibility? After what they tried to do to me before? All right. I gotta say, before we go on, we had just talked about just channeling Inga and channeling Dirk uh -huh. and just throwing them on the stand. We've already done it once. Why the heck not, right? We get a lot of valuable information. 
And then I thought, how terrible it must be to put a dead man up on the stand to have him talk about the specifics of his terrible marriage. Like, surely, surely there's a limit to how cruel someone could be. But would he do it for a chance to talk to his daughter? You know? I bet Inglewood. It already is for you, pal. Ah, uh, it's too much fun doing that voice. <laughs> Long time no see, you rebel brohard. I really have to say the uh, the security here is just absolutely atrocious. <laughs> Inga, I know you're up to something, and I'm going to find out what. Oh! Well, for starters, how about I shoot you in the heart? Wrong side of the chest. Mm. <laughs> That's got a smart. You become a real thorn in my side, see? So it's time for you to be pushing up daisies. God, how freaking brutal! Dirk! <sighs> I mean, this is something that's certainly new. <laughs> Did you really think a pea shooter like that <laughs> could kill a dragon? What the? Uh, 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 what are you, some kind of freak? Not for this! Well. I suppose then we weren't wrong about Inga, but what the heck happened? Where'd he go after this? Only to be found later. We we know he was killed at two. We know when that happened. But that... where'd he go? But if he shot Dirk... He knew... Well, we never did see him once we got back to Kudain. So he never saw Dirk walking around. I guess he thought Dirk survived. Otherwise, he wouldn't have called him and tried to blackmail for the orb, right? He didn't call him, trying to blackmail him for the orb. He called Phoenix right, and when Dirk said, give me the phone, Inga was like, what the heck? That's right! And just went with it. So he knew at that point. Or he did think he survived, somehow. But he would have been the one to put him away, right? In the coffin? Maybe. No, if he shot Dirk, he wouldn't have had to hide it. Right? You could make an awfully strong case that he wouldn't have to, yeah. I mean, wife is the queen, but he's sort of starting a coup. It, ah, but this is Dirk, and that's going to be a victory. I don't know. That's, that's enough for now. Oh, my brain. Dirk was shot several times, but he barely even flinched. He sacrificed himself for me. <laughs> oh, these robes! Ah, I've, I've got to help you! Relax. It's going to be okay. Sorry things turned out this way, but it doesn't look like I have much longer. No, don't say that! You're a spirit medium, aren't you? When I'm gone, I want you to channel my spirit. What? Stop it! Don't give up like that! If you do, untying a rope like that'll be child's play. Because he'll do it. Yeah. No! Please, hang in there. You can still make it. P promise. Promise me one thing, young lady. It... It's about my son. Dirk. He was talking about you, Apollo. He said he wanted to see you one last time. And that's when he saved Apollo, too. He yeah. was already... Man, poor Apollo. And Nayuda and Rayfa, if she is his daughter? Although, even if she is his biological daughter, she's totally Inga's daughter. And 
Ugh. Poor everyone. Yeah. So he asked me to return to the U.S. and channel his spirit. He really said that? Well, that explained how he was able to get into the U.S. so easily. Because he was a citizen and there wasn't any passport jumping at all. Dots, on the other hand. Well. And what about that video? Wasn't that video broadcast after his death, too? Well, it may have been broadcast, but we don't know when it was recorded. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. He also said he'd been meaning to visit you for years, but kept putting it off. Maybe he was afraid... But this was his last chance. You just show up here without warning after all this time? What gives? I came all this way to see you, son. Come, rejoice. Right. Why don't you tell me the real reason you're here, you lay about? Oh. Uh. Dirk. You really did come to the U.S. because you wanted to see me. Man, spirit of dad for reals, huh? For reals. I guess this means... It was Inga that hid Dirk's body in the sarcophagus after Maya left the tomb. Now, I do still believe that it was Garan who killed Inga. But, you know, it could have been Amara. Revenge? Yeah, yeah. But she was- I'm just curious why if he didn't have the hostage anymore, why was he just chilling in the tomb, sipping wine? Also, would it be so easy for Amara to just kill the guy she'd been so, she'd been serving for such a long time? And did he know? Probably? No, he had to know because yeah. of the picture of her and Rafa in his- Yeah! Uh, Apollo, you can't stop now. Dirk would want you to keep pressing on. That's true. I know, Miss Faye. And I won't disappoint him. <sighs> Defense, if you are ready to proceed, I would first have you answer this. Do you believe the accused's death will impact what we know about this case? Well, yes, as a matter of fact... Yes, and I believe I can explain everything now. Very well. Your explanation, please. Dirk entered the tomb at 3 p.m., the time the hostage exchange was to take place. Or rather, Dirk, as channeled by Miss Fay, did. <laughs> this case is so weird because we have people literally turning into other people. <laughs> oh my and back, God. And turning back. And turning back. Now, by the time he entered the tomb at 3 p.m., Minister Inga was already dead. I say that because we know the minister was murdered at 2 p.m. But there was someone else in there. This person was already hiding in the tomb, waiting to channel Dirk in place of Miss Faye. It has to be her! It was you, wasn't it? No comment. The fact of the matter is, Queen Amara killed Minister Inga at 2 p.m. She then went to his private quarters and channeled his spirit. The minister, thinking he was going to be late, hurried to the tomb for the hostage exchange. But once in the tomb, Queen Amara stopped channeling Minister Inga and hid herself. And then Queen Garad channeling all of showed up. Then, when Dirk entered at 3 p.m., she snuck up from behind and forcibly drove Dirk's spirit out of Miss Faye's body? You, you can do that? I guess Amara can. How do I know this? Drove his spirit out of her body? Impossible. Objection! Actually, there is a way to do that. 
with the Magatama of Parting, that is. Oh, yeah. Using I... one, anyone could drive a spirit out of a person's body, even if it refused to leave. I guess that's come up. Um, oh, well. Are you telling me that the extra pale brown Magatama in the tomb was... Oh, I'd forgotten about that. Several of them all used up. Well, one of them was from the statue. Remember, the statues had them. So there was one extra one, and that was the used up Magatama of Pardu. That it was... That's right, Prosecutor Sadmati. And you've seen one in action before. You saw how the glowing red Magatama sent the High Priest back to the Twilight Realm. And how it turned into a spent, pale brown afterwards. In other words, the brown Magatama found in the tomb looks that way because its power had been used up in pushing Dirk's spirit out of Miss Faye's body, right? I probably passed out as soon as Dirk's spirit left my body. I was exhausted after channeling him for so long, after all, it was days. God. After that, Queen Amara must have dressed Miss Faye in her usual outfit and tied her up. That's the funniest thing about all of this, is all of the clothes swapping <laughs> going on. Well, we've seen that Queen Amara is quite proficient at that. That is true. Her, her cocoon of magical girl changing where you can change your clothes hands-free. The orb she was in, the orb of cloth, looked like the orb around the Holy Mother in the, that, in the puzzle box. Hey, you're right. <laughs> I'm not sure where she got the outfit, but let's not worry about tracing everybody's clothes at this point when people aren't denying this stuff, so we can assume she all had it planned out. I mean, frankly, guys, I just buy my clothing from a department store. There's nothing weird about it. It's an off-the-rack outfit. Then Queen Amara must have changed into Dirk's clothes smeared blood onto them. It would have been bloody already. Picked up the knife and channeled Dirk's spirit. That's how she made it look like Dirk had committed the crime. And that's how she escaped! Right under our noses! Yeah. I don't know, Apollo. The whole thing still seems a bit far-fetched. A bit? A bit far-fetched. Well, I was being nice, you know. No, I don't buy that, though. What about Dirk's reaction? Why was he so confused? And he went into the tomb and lost consciousness because he was forced out of Maya. When he came to, he was standing over Inga with the knife because he had been... I guess that's completely... Channeled by Amara. I guess that's completely correct, then. <laughs> okay, well, good job. Way to make Amara look guiltier than when I'm trying... <laughs> trying to argue that she's not. Well, I mean, you know... So, the thing is, is, is everything Apollo laid out makes sense except for one thing. The part where he said Amara killed Inga at two, and anyway, and then moved on. Yeah, we gotta address that. I mean, that's kind of the main thing, isn't it? So far, Apollo's been able to nail everything, but he's just gotten a crucial detail wrong every time. Well, I mean, that's kind of how this works, you know? We come up with the theory, we punch the holes in the theory, we adjust the theory. Yeah, but I mean, it's really specific this time. <laughs> also, a bit far-fetched. Dirk. What was going through your mind while all this was unfolding? <laughs> so, ultimately, it was all for naught. Nayuda? Those dreams of revolution Dirk was always spouting. Don't you dare start speaking ill of Dirk. Not now, man. They place nothing but false hope in the minds of the people. And in the end, they were simply fantasies. You know, there's probably going to be another day to this trial. I would be shocked if there wasn't. 
there's still quite a lot left to resolve. I mean, if it ends right now, even assuming that it's true, if it ends right now, how much do we not know? All the injustice, the, yeah. the entire revolution, everything Dirk fought for. We can't let it end now. Nayuda, how can you? Huh. Karma has spoken. The dream of revolution has withered on the vine. Its fate is sealed. The other insurgents will soon wake from their shattered dreams. No! Dirk's dream can't die like this! If it just ends now, with it being pegged on Amara, even if she did it, if it just ends now the way it currently is, what's changed? The DC Act is still in place. The Spirit of Justice has not returned to Kudain. Spirit of justice, no less. <laughs> yeah, we still got the other case as well that needs to be resolved. We're not sure how it's going to come into play, but it will. But, what do you mean? Uh, Amara's assassination attempt. It's gotta come into oh, play Oh, yeah, somehow. yeah, 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 I was even specifically referring to that, too. We, we have to figure out how all that works, but Ace Attorney has its ways. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit back and let that happen. I can't, and I won't! Nayuda. Don't forget that Dirk's been proven innocent. Booyah! His name is no longer tainted by the charge of murder. In either case! Now the rebels and their sympathizers who have been calling for his release can't be charged with abetting the accused. So the revolution is far from over. It's only just begun. Objection. No, Dirk has not yet been proven innocent. You have merely indicated the possibility of his innocence. What, what do you mean? Dirk is indeed dead. However, what if it was Dirk who killed Minister Inga while being channeled by Miss Fay? And while the crime could have occurred at 2 p.m., you have yet to substantively prove it. Who knows how many dots are rebels laughing setting off bombs at any given time and, and while, dogs while who knows how many war bonds shrieking like a lion in the main square of the bazaar at the time these other things are going on while Dots' very specific laugh is going and dogs and all the same series of events who knows how many times a day nay an hour it happens Na Nayuda oh, do you have conclusive proof that the time of Minister Inga's death was at 2 p.m. Haven't we already proved that? Do you have conclusive proof? Proofier proof? More betterer proof, you putrid lawyer? Are you serious? Well, I mean... We do! I, I thought I already went through we established all this. that, yeah! Didn't we spend quite some time? But if that's not good enough... For some reason now, I mean, I guess I don't, but... Well, what are you gonna say? Who are you covering for? It seems further testimony will be required of me. As it would appear that I have fallen under suspicion, I would like to state my case. I wonder if she's... If, we, if we're reading her right, which there's no guarantee we are. I mean, we weren't sure... We weren't sure what had happened to Dirk, and then we, but we kept coming back to the bullets. Yeah. So it's like we were halfway rehabilitating Inga, but, I mean, in the end, he still murdered Dirk. Yeah. I wonder if, as has happened sometimes, she's going to be stating her innocence and then later on confessing. Sometimes that happens. Uh, uh, okay, no, it was me after all, they say. Uh, what? Prosecutor Sadma, the rebellion must be snuffed out once and for all. You must prove Dirk Sadmati to be the foul murderer that he was. And every last insurgent and their sympathizers must be found guilty under the Defense Culpability Act. As you wish, Your Eminence. Why is Nayuna doing this? Garan shouldn't have him under her thumb anymore. Amara's not a hostage. So what gives? Not so easy to just stop? Yeah. Nayuda, 
What's left to chain you to her like this? Rayfa. If Rayfa is his sister. That's what I was thinking as well. Okay, well, this has been some crazy stuff. I mean, uh, Queen Amara, please proceed with your additional testimony. I can't wait to see what happens next. Okay. So, I have to say, we, we looked at the court record. She's only 44. Doesn't she seem awfully gray looking? I don't mean her hair color, but it's like the eyebrows and eyelashes. Isn't that normal? I mean, it could be just eyeliner. Well, I, mean, I mean, her hair is gray. Why shouldn't her eyebrows be gray? Well, I mean, shouldn't that be a silver? I mean, okay, okay, I guess I get it. Those are a darker color. Those are gray while uh, her hair is silver. It could be makeup. You know, some women pluck their eyebrows and then paint them on. It's a fashion thing. That <laughs> is the most hideous looking thing. Look, I'm just saying it happens. Yeah, but I don't think someone like her is going to be doing it. Anyway, the point I'm getting at is when she has her eyes closed, like the weird color of, of her eyelashes and eyebrows for some reason make me think she's old. Huh. That's why I wanted to point it out because it's weird. You yeah, see? yeah, I see what you're saying. They kind of look like crow's nests or crow's feet. Yeah, I guess you just don't quite see it. That's fine. You have no proof. Well done, lawyer. You have painted me as a killer with nothing but your silver tongue. However, you have no evidence proving your distasteful theory. It's true, we don't have anything on that part. All the rest of it, yeah, we got that. But what about this? The part where she supposedly killed Inga. Furthermore, Dirt could have committed the crime while being channeled by Miss Fay, Or even me. Now... Let us end this shrine. Come to me, my animal. For the eternal glory of Kurain and its people. Hold it? <laughs> Do you understand now, you putrid pepper? There is no point in defending Dirk any longer. It has all been in vain. Come, dead horse. I shall challenge you. I shall defeat you. I shall beat you, dead horse. <laughs> if you look at Nayuda, his eyebrows are black. I mean, I mean, his eyelashes are black. <laughs> and and so it completely changes it and makes him look youthful. Okay, okay. Come forth, horse! Or a deer is pretty close. I'll beat the deer. No, don't beat the deer. Why not? I don't like deer. I like eating them. They're pests! <laughs> They're pests! <laughs> what do you think this is, Bambi? They cause car wrecks. I remember this one time, like, I was a little kid, and it was just like this deer bolted out in the middle of the road, and just and it was like a really narrow road, uh -huh. and it just sat there. <laughs> and we had to, like, sit and wait, and the deer was just not interested in moving. And so my dad got out of the car and was like, get the heck out! And then chase the dang thing off. There ain't no stupid, cute little deer. Deer is like... Deer's food, not friends. Yeah, deer's food, not friends. Let it go and move on. Damon, let it go! Just be... Just let the deer go, man. And move on, right? Well, not today. Your theories are but a pillar of salt that crumbles at the slightest breeze. Wrong religion there. But no more. This ends here and now. The defense may proceed with its cross-examination. Man, I kind of missed the judge. Faced with all these authority figures from, like, civic, governmental, and religious life, he's just like, takes the gavel with a look on his face, let's just keep on going. <laughs> well done, lawyer. You have painted me as a killer with nothing but your silver tongue. Why? on earth is your entire family so effing smug? Hold it! <laughs> Convincing others is all part of a lawyer's trade, so I'll take that as a compliment. You would, wouldn't you? I suppose you have deceived countless souls with your lies. Look who's talking. But I should not be surprised, considering you learned from him. Him? You mean Dirk, right? Yes, 
the man who deceived and seduced me. A grand priestess with his silver tongue. Well, maybe Amara really did do it. I... The problem is... You know, a lot of the stuff we were saying before, that was before we knew that it was Maya who had... Channeled dirt. I don't know. I, this has got to have something to do with, like, a stack of children. A stack of smug, smarmy children. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I like them. That's not my point. Um, we, we are still talking about the case, right? I'm, I'm actually not on trial. I'm the defense attorney. Surely you have heard of a lady falling for the wrong man before? You, I mean, this you, this is your love life. Ah, but to think that I, of all people, would fall under that devil's spell. You, your son is right over there? How did they ever get together in the first place? Let alone procreate? Well, when a man and a woman love each other very That's much... That's enough! Go on! I would advise all here today to beware this lawyer's silver tongue, lest you too be unjustly painted as a criminal, as I have been. Isn't that right, Tiggy Wiggy? I wonder if the folks behind the Ace Attorney games kind of have a thing against animals. Why do you say that? Well, you don't know about the other game with the animals. Uh-huh. And I don't want to be too spoilery, but it's just like, there's some kind of foul people that animals love, which is sort of the opposite of what you would normally get. However, you have no evidence proving your distasteful theory. Ah, oh, we, we freaking talk faster? I'm growing old and gray like you, sitting here waiting for you to finish your freaking sentence. I admit I don't have any solid evidence, yet. But you're the only one who could have committed the crime! What on earth do you mean? Including Miss Fay, there are only three spirit mediums in Kurayin. Although I guess we haven't established that alibi of uh, number two quite so much. Or number one, maybe? Furthermore, when the crime scene was first discovered, Queen Garan. Bink, bink. Was with me and Mr. Wright while Miss Faye. Bink, bink, bink. You know, that's right about Garan being there. Was tied up in the tomb. And this was this was around three, so. Okay. Yeah. That means that the Dirk we saw after the minister's murder. <laughs> Good sound effects, Billy. Thank you. Could only have been channeled by you, Queen Amara! Insolent liar! Ah! You forgive us your mercifulness! Foaming at the mouth! Billy, your majesty! Ah, but have you considered the following defense? What if there was, unbeknownst to us, another spirit medium in Kurayin? You must forgive me. I am actually extremely shaken by all of these events. Objection! What? What hackery is this? Oh, come on! What are the chances? You go find one! You lack the evidence to support your claim that Queen Amara is the killer. I lack the evidence to prove that there was a fourth spirit channeler on the continent of Eurasia. But I'm going to expo exponentially hominem. Did that not work so well? You need to divide hominem. Okay. Which is why you have had to use the process of elimination to zero in on her. There is no evidence. None whatsoever. It therefore stands to reason that you would have to rule out all other possibilities as well. Eurasia is a big place. Is there someone else here? You might say that we of Kurayin were surprised to find out that your country has spirit mediums. Why is what I'm saying that unreasonable? I think I actually made a good case! I... uh... What a BS argument, though! <laughs> <laughs> well, can you eliminate the possibility of another spirit medium defense? Of, of course 
I can't! I can't challenge the entire world person by person? Under the circumstances, Apollo, there are two ways to establish Amarg guilt. Uh, uh, whose guilt? Amara's. I thought you said Amarg. We either prove she killed Inga, or prove she was in the tomb. One of the two. Hmm. The only one I can actually prove is that she was in the tomb. Yeah. We just have no evidence that she killed Inga. I, I can prove that Queen Amara was in the tomb when the murder occurred. If you'll give me another statement and don't make me present evidence now. It seems you are ever bent on painting me as the killer. Well, if the shoe fits, lady! Very well. Let us see some evidence that proves I was at the scene of the crime. You do have some, do you not? We'll get to that in a minute. There is nothing to prove I was even at the scene of the crime. There is, there is, there is. And we've already used it before too. By simply changing into Dirk's clothes and channeling his spirit, it is a fact that the kilter, that the kilter all earned the crime scene. Oh, is that a fact? <laughs> How very perceptive of you. I have to establish the basic facts piece by piece because if I don't, you'll smarm them down. Along with smarm Marty. In trying to accomplish everything, the killer would have been pressed for time and may have committed an error that could prove crucial to this case. And sometimes the significance of certain pieces of evidence can change in the face of new facts and circumstances. As in, it is something that you are currently holding and you need to go look at it again. Why don't you take another look at all the evidence we have? You've already used it, but now we know more things. You think I'll see something in a new light? You bet your bottom dollar. We'll get that in a minute. Is there anything from the tomb that's taken on a different meaning now? Isn't it? Isn't it the, the button? And if it's not, no, it's the, it's the pendant. Isn't that it? Dirk has the pendant. He has the other half of the pendant. And he, that proves that, d doesn't it? Doesn't that pendant having been found in the tomb? Because wasn't the pendant found in the tomb? It was, yeah. It, doesn't that have to be it? I think you're right. I think you're right. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Maybe it's still the button, but uh... the way to find out is to reconsider each piece based on our current understanding. And it would make sense if she was carrying that one. Yeah. If Dirk had the other. I yeah. Think, yeah. I mean, we won't be getting to that in this episode, but we will finish the testimony. Furthermore, Dirk could have committed the crime while being channeled by Miss Fay. You're saying the Dirk who entered the tomb is the one who killed Minister Inga? But we we have enough evidence to prove that that's not the case. I am. Uh, I stand firm with the prosecution's original charge against the accused. <laughs> Why? The only issue is whether that Dirk was alive or dead. That's a pretty major issue. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, I beg to differ. For here in Kurai, death is not the end. Kuh. It is merely a change in one's address. For the Twilight Realm is only the next door over. Is it really? It is. Those who have only recently passed away may call upon you in the night. Such occurrences are quite common in our kingdom. What? She's kidding! Right? Is this really like Ghostland or something? And all the time I've spent here, I am very happy to say that's never happened to me. Thank goodness, Mr. Wright. Me neither. You need not fear that. Embrace it. Along with your <laughs> I... And may you begin your journey to the twilight. That night. was a very specific next line prediction. <laughs> now, let us end this charade for the eternal glory of Kurain and its people. Hold it. There's not really much to dispute there. 
Eternal glory? Can you clarify that at great length, please? Once the king of traitors has been judged and the rebellion quelled for good, peace and prosperity shall return to our fair kingdom. Do you really believe that? I mean, maybe you do, but do you really believe it? Then shall the blessings of the Holy Mother usher in an age of eternal glory. I mean, the pendant, you know? It, she's totally covering for her kids! Hmm. Of ball. course she's covering for her kids! Because this is spirit of justice! What has every stinking case been? You're right! Hmm. With Queen Amara as the Grand Priestess of Crime once more, the people would be freed from subversive elements. Faith would blossom anew! Oh, you are too kind, but I have no intention of resuming my position as Grand Priestess. What? I relinquished my position as Queen and Grand Priestess to my sister Garan. And now that my would-be assassin is gone, I am truly free at last. Huh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. perhaps I shall take a trip or expand my horizons with new training. Or, or, uh, Queen Amara? Looks like she's totally over being Grand Priestess and Queen. Well, I guess if you've been the head of state for about 15 years or so, you're probably done. Or ho, 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 five ho, ho. or two. In that case, I shall introduce you to some wonderful classes that I have taken. There you go, Billy! Turns out that his majesty too takes classes. It ain't just the class-loving judge back, back home. Well, we knew that from the first one, because he was learning from peace-loving. That's true. If Amara channeled Dirk, she must have been at the scene of the crime. If so, she may have left something behind. Oh, yeah? Sure, but the question is, did she? Well, if nothing else, you can always try to get her to testify about something else. Right. First, maybe a quick review of the evidence that we've already done. But this one's gone on totally long enough. <laughs> we know where we're going for next time. We just have to get there. What crazy freaking revelation is going to happen in the next episode? I know! How can it top all the recent revelations? It's just going to get crazier! We still haven't gotten to Jove Justice and all those arsons and the Founder's Orb. Oh! I don't know if my heart can take it! This is a completely worthy final case, let me tell you what!